Hi, so we had our 32 week appointment today and oh, it was just Braden and me since my husband's still gone, but we're gonna go pick him up tomorrow, so it's cool. But they're estimating the baby at about four pounds and 17 inches long. So we're excited about that. Um, I'm 32 weeks, three days today, and our appointment was today. Um, they did the normal urine and blood work, and then, oh, watch your head. And then they did the fetal monitoring, and no contractions, and the heart rate was in like the 120s, which Apparently, I don't know, they were a little nervous about it, but that's the norm for me is for my kids to have their heart rate in the 120s. So, and they tried to scare him by taking like a little pan and banging a spoon on it, but that didn't really work. So, they just kind of gave up. But the doctor said that it was fine. So, we're not too worried about it. Um, I take medication for my heart, so I think that may affect the baby's heart just a little bit. So, but our next appointment is going to be at the end of March. And, oh, we did get to do an ultrasound. We did get to see the baby, but this time he didn't print out a picture for us. So, we're just going to have to live without a picture, but that's okay. I still got to see the baby, but it was a really quick ultrasound. But other than that, everything's doing good. I think I'm getting a little bit of the Braxton Hicks. I didn't have that at all with Brayden, but since this is my second baby, they say that it's probably more likely to, like, to happen. So, um, but nothing that last for a long time so I don't really have to worry about early labor. I know that if I change positions or if I drink some water or something or if I take a bath I, I know it'll stop so that's how I know it's not like actual labor so but other than that no real complaints. Um, I'm getting a good amount of sleep. It is a little bit difficult to go to sleep at night but uh oh Please don't do that. Yes, go, go, go. Mm -hmm. But other than that, everything seems to be doing pretty good. So we'll just see how the next visit goes and we'll let you know. Oh, also, I totally forgot about this, but at the OB office, they went ahead and they gave me one of these really cool little cards. And on this side, it has my name and my date of birth and my blood type and um, since I'm RH negative, it also says that on there, so it's really nifty. It's just for me to keep, like, in my wallet and such, so, but, so that way I can just give it to any of the doctors or the hospital, and they'll know my blood type already without having to get it, you know, typed and crossed and everything at the hospital, so I think that saves a lot of time, so I'm really excited about that. I wish they would have given this to me with my last pregnancy but they didn't but at least they gave it to me this time so now I have it but yeah I thought that was pretty nifty they do a lot of cool stuff here that I think we should probably consider doing also in the states like the mother book I talked about this before but I really really love the mother book because it holds all my information like it tells me my weight and I've got my blood pressure from every single visit like all down in here so um yeah i really think it's nifty and all of my blood work and everything they all keep it in here with stickers and such and just keep it in order so it's good for me to have and it's good for the doctors so that they can compare me and see if anything big changes but I really, really like these. I wish they had them in the States. But, yeah. Other than that. Bug, what are you doing? So, yeah. Okay, that's all. I just wanted to add that.